Welcome to Music Meditation. This is your brain on bass. The 40 hertz pitch can be heard in the opening gong, the background double bass immersion, and the exit music. More information can be found at www.musicmeditation.ca. This episode is called Community Based Artistically Driven. Many reports have been produced regarding our health and well being, and most reveal the obvious too many pills, too much stress, and too little employment, food, housing, education, or security. With evidence showing positive results from non invasive, non chemical, community based, and artistically driven medical remedies, research in science and health supports music and meditation as tools for improving the quality of our lives. From research in gamma brain waves and dopamine pathways to studies in bouncing balls and iPod programs, music has been shown to produce positive results with not only gait, speech, and memory issues, but also with more serious medical ailments, including Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, and fibromyalgia syndrome. Likewise, studies in addiction and mental health have shown that developing social connections through community involvement, group participation, and many other musicking opportunities can have a profound effect on an individual's ability to manage relationships in today's society. Governments are recognizing the benefits of communal creative activity. The United Kingdom, for example, has entered a phase of social prescribing, recommending that doctors promote arts solutions for ailments such as dementia, psychosis, lung conditions, and mental health issues. Matt Hancock, British Health Secretary, spoke about the initiative. We've been fostering a culture that's popping pills and Prozac when what we should be doing is more prevention and perspiration. Social prescribing can help us combat over-medicalizing people. Recommendations include singing lessons, dance lessons, or simply listening to preferred music playlists. The British government in 2018 appointed a Minister of Loneliness to address social and health issues caused by social isolation. Similar to stress, extended feelings of loneliness can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, chronic inflammation, and even dementia. Creating programs that promote individual connection through communal activity, including many music opportunities, is one of their mandates. The natural release of desirable brain chemicals through prescribed activity is a growing field in music therapy. Dopamine, a happiness neurotransmitter, is the chemical released in the brain that is most often associated with pleasure and reward-motivated behavior. And it is also involved with other functions such as motor control and hormone release. Altered levels of dopamine have been linked to mental health issues such as schizophrenia, as well as other medical conditions such as restless legs syndrome and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, that's ADHD. Researchers at McGill University in Montreal have shown that when subjects are exposed to music they enjoy, levels of dopamine in the brain can increase by 9%. Doctors in Montreal, Canada are prescribing free, government-funded tours of Quebec's Montreal Museum of Fine Arts to address mental health issues. Studies have shown that visits to museums can increase levels of serotonin, a chemical released in the brain that mitigates depression. Neurologic music therapy complements standard music therapy with a focus on neural pathway connections that respond specifically to music and rhythm. Dr. Michael Tott is a professor at the Faculty of Music at the University of Toronto and is the past director of the Music and Health Research Collaboratory. He considers music to be a complex auditory language with a structure in time and patterns that can have a profound effect on sensory perception in the human brain. He suggests that neurologic music therapy is beneficial for individuals suffering from stroke, traumatic brain injury, Parkinson's and Huntington's disease, cerebral palsy, 
Alzheimer's disease, autism, and other neurological diseases affecting cognition, movement, and communication. During a 2019 lecture titled, How Music Helps to Heal the Injured Brain, keynote speaker Dr. Todd spoke of the comprehensive and all-encompassing nature in which our brains process music and stimulate the creation of memories. The simple act of listening to a popular song will initiate the entrainment of auditory neurons to motor neurons, helping bridge auditory cues, typically found on the right side of the brain, to word and lyric sequencing, typically found on the left side of the brain, thereby stimulating memory and movement engagement, which in turn creates an emotional and physical response. This sequence of events ultimately sets the stage for the development of even more memories, and the reward of dopamine encourages similar future activity. Neurologic music therapy uses music-based interventions to take advantage of the broad connectivity of music in the brain. Some of the techniques used include rhythmic auditory stimulation, musical speech stimulation, and melodic intonation therapy. All music therapy, including neurologic music therapy, promotes music-based interventions for health because of music's general acceptance in society and its often very simple implementation. As discussed in Gary Andel's 2015 paper, when music flourishes, people flourish too. People love music and they love musicking together. It is not difficult to understand why. This is how music helps. <laughs>